Hey my little Murkros, Hunchcode here, welcome back to some more Mario Kart 8 in the last episode. <clears throat> Excuse me. We did um lightning mirror lightning cup with um a little shy guy. But um we're doing mirror special cup with a little someone I don't believe we've played with that sounded wrong. I don't believe we've played as yet, because that just sounds wrong if I said played with, because you know how many people like, you know, you know how many people like Bowser, my man. Let's do this. Look, there's your identical twin right in front of you, or whatever the fuck it is. Well, this is like extremely fast. What the? What if there was a combination in this game that was light, like, it lied to you about its actual speed and acceleration, it's like the ultimate combination? What if it was this combination, and I just found it? What glide am I using? Cloud? I cloud. I thought I meant to use the paper glider, or uh, the value of kite, but, um, you know, this is good too. I'm really liking this cart combination. Doesn't have the best handling, but it'll do. I am liking this combination. And that red shell should have hit me, but it didn't go for me for whatever reason. Where is that freaking Luigi at? Oh, he's way back there. Okay. That felt really slow going up that slope, but somehow I got like way ahead of Mario. I don't, know, I don't understand my height. I really don't. Oh god. Seriously? What if it actually like shrunk you like uh, Koopa Cape does? I didn't even see that coming. What kind of bull is that? The sad thing is that that's the one that like screws you up if you miss. That's kind of bull crap though. I'm still in first. It doesn't drift very good. I'll give it that, that it doesn't drift as well as I think it should, but... You know, this is, we're playing as a super freaking like heavyweight. In Mario Kart DS though, it's weird that the heavyweights are the ones that seem to drift the best. Like, DK has like, the best drift in that game. You know, not DK, um, Peach. I feel like Peach deserves like, the spot as one of the best better characters in Mario Kart DS. Like, people use Rob in that game, but that's just because he's fast, and I don't... I don't think Rob is the best character at all. Rob doesn't really deserve that. I know I'm playing as Rob in my Mario Kart DS right now. Like, um, sometimes I like to see, um, like, I'm trying to learn, like, computer patterns in that game. Like, if I make my own games, I'd like to use, like, the, those computer patterns, because and Mario Kart DS is like the best Mario Kart for the computers because the computers are more balanced out. Like it, it'll, it'll have like one or two good computers, and then the rest of them pretty much just like don't even try to get first. Like they let those better CPUs in front of them. Like they all slow down and fight over third place or fourth, if depending on how good of a player you are. But like. Let's see, um, you have, like, Bowser and Yoshi fighting for, like, like, those are the two good computers. They'll switch back and forth every race for who can, who's allowed to get first. And unless one of them, like, messes up really badly or something happens to them, um, they'll either always get first or second. And it alternates between them for who gets first and second every race. And then, um, the compute with the other computers, like the other, um, five, it's five, right? Yeah, it should be five, because you, you have to be one of them. 
Um, they'll all um, pretty much go by like acceleration. Who's the best of them all? Like that's what I've noticed. Like if you have Bowser and Dry Bones, Dry Bones is normally the one that gets third place in almost every race. And it can get annoying, like, you can team up on Dry Bones and Toad, like, in my game it's Toad. And normally Bowser's the bad one, even though in my game Bowser's the one in, like, third place overall. It's really interesting how I learned all those computer patterns. Like, you always have that one really good computer, or the two very good computers, you'll have... The one somewhat decent one that doesn't really care what place you get, he gets it, he just ends up with the most points. Like in my last game that I played, um, everyone was basically fighting over like fourth place. And like it it turned out that like Toad got out of that eventually and then he like boosted ahead by like 80 points before the next person pretty much broke free from that like free for all who's gonna get first. And, I, mean, I know I'm kinda like nerding out here, but it was really, really cool to see computer patterns in that game. I haven't really found the computer patterns in uh, Mario Kart Wii as much as that. In this game, you always have like three good computers that pretty much fight over first place the whole time, that's about it. But, Mario Kart Wii, what I've noticed is that if you have a computer that does bad in just one race, he'll do bad like the rest of the game until he can get, until he accidentally gets like fifth place or above. I really nerded out there, I'm gonna stop talking about that. And I, the one thing I don't like about this game is that when Bowser is cheering, the wheel's like inside of him. It's kind of bullcrap. His sprite, like it should be a little bit smaller, or his cart should be bigger. I don't know. It's just kind of bullcrap that he's the same weight as one of his freaking Koopalings. Oh, this course. I kind of like this course. It's not that long. I noticed this course is like one of the shorter courses in the game. Like you'll see. It starts out like a moderate speed, like. Look, we're already inside his castle, and then now we're already in some other place. Mario Kart Wii's Bowser Castle had way more, and is way longer. This one really isn't that long. Like, you transition from place to place, like, every five seconds. Like, we, like, I don't know, like, 25 seconds ago, we were just, like, outside starting the race, and now we're at, like, in the depths of Bowser's castle, and now we're already going back towards uh, whatever you would call this place. Do not hit me. Huh, hit her. Hit Luigi. Stupid pet match. Oh my god. Why did I do that? No, I hit someone. Jeez. This is actually making me want to play Mario Kart Wii. <laughs> like, I'm suddenly craving uh, Mario Kart Wii right now. As if, like, Mario Kart Wii is a thing. Dang it. I was gonna pass Cat Beach, but of course. And now I'm like way ahead of her, like what the heck happened? I so should have been hit by that, like what the crap. They look like Morton's shell. And now my dogs are going crazy. There's someone here, I think. They can't go look at the door.
to. My dad's downstairs, I'm pretty sure. He should be at least. Ask Jim if he wants to record a Mario Kart online with me later. He hasn't been on in like 12, maybe like 15 episodes. I was in first place up until the last five seconds. Oh, because I kept first. and Hunch Card, and then the next episode we'll do, um, near Triforce Cup. I'll see you guys then.